Here's a condensed history of the relationship between Israel and Palestine. Let's break it down. After World War I, the League of Nations placed Palestine, formerly part of the Ottoman Empire, under British rule. The British made a proclamation in 1917 supporting the creation of a Jewish nation there, satisfying Zionists who considered it a holy land that God promised to the Jewish people. The British helped European Jews immigrate to Palestine. As a result, Jewish people went from making up 9% of the total population in 1922 to almost 27% by 1935, and tens of thousands of Palestinians were displaced in the process, according to Al Jazeera. In 1936, Palestinians staged a three-year uprising that was ultimately suppressed by British forces and Jewish militia groups. Seeking to address the conflicting interests of Palestinians and Zionists, in 1947, the British asked the UN to decide what to do with Palestine, and the body called for it to be partitioned into two independent states. Many Palestinians were against the UN's plan, seeing it as a betrayal. But in 1948, the UK's mandate over Palestine ended, and Israel declared independence. The war that followed saw Israel capture more Palestinian territory than the UN had allocated. Between 1947 and 1949, at least 750,000 Palestinians were forced to flee their homes. Zionist forces took nearly 80% of historic Palestine, destroyed around 530 villages and cities, and killed around 15,000 Palestinians. Palestinians fled to refugee camps in the West Bank, Gaza Strip, and neighboring countries. They came to call Israel's violent occupation Nakba, or catastrophe. In 1967, the Six-Day War broke out between Israel and neighboring states, forcing an additional 250,000 plus Palestinians to flee Gaza and the West Bank. Israel then occupied Gaza and the West Bank. In 1974, the UN General Assembly affirmed Palestinians' right to self-determination, sovereignty, and independence, as well as for refugees to return. It also recognized the Palestinian Liberation Organization, or PLO, as the official representative of the Palestinian people. In 1987, Palestinians staged a largely nonviolent uprising against Israeli occupation called the First Intifada, meaning uprising. In the 1990s, negotiations between Israel and the PLO led to the signing of the Interim Oslo Accords. Palestinians recognized Israel and the Palestinian Authority was established to govern parts of the West Bank and the Gaza Strip. However, Israel continued to seize more Palestinian land, moving its citizens into settlements that the international community widely considers illegal. As a result, the more violent Second Intifada broke out in 2000, consisting of armed clashes and bombings. It lasted five years. In response, Israel built the West Bank Separation Wall, most of which was inside Palestinian territory. The International Court of Justice determined that the construction of the wall inside of Palestinian territory was illegal. The Second Intifada came to a close in 2005, when Israel withdrew troops and settlers from Gaza. In 2007, Hamas, short for Islamic Resistance Movement, took control of Gaza. Israel then imposed a blockade on Gaza, saying the move was needed to protect its people. This intensified the humanitarian crisis there and led to more Palestinian resistance. But Israel helped create Hamas. Its precursor was funded by Israeli officials to undermine other Palestinian resistance movements. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu reportedly said in a 2019 meeting with his party, anyone who wants to thwart the establishment of a Palestinian state has to support bolstering Hamas and transferring money to Hamas. This is part of our strategy, to isolate the Palestinians in Gaza from the Palestinians in the West Bank. This alleged strategy suggests an attempt to make a two-state solution more challenging by fostering division between the Palestinian territories. In 2012, Palestine became a UN non-member observer state. A few years later, the UN Security Council demanded that Israel halt illegal settlement activity, but Israeli settlements continued to expand throughout the West Bank, displacing even more Palestinians. Despite international support for a two-state solution, it has not been possible to resolve the outstanding issues in accordance with UN resolutions.